my GoPro is quickly becoming the camera that I use the most. It's small, it shoots high resolution video, and it's a lot more flexible than people give it credit for. Obviously, it's not the choice for everything, but the GoPro Hero 9 Plus has the unique ability to shoot one of my favorite shots, the night lapse. What is going on everybody, Dan with Gear Focus here, and today we are talking all about night lapses with the GoPro. Now, a night lapse is just a time lapse that is done at night. Essentially, your camera is going to take a series of photos and then stitch it together inside the camera and spit out a video. In the case of night lapses, the photos are done as long exposures. The long exposure will allow us to see the stars, the Milky Way galaxy, the moon, all of that stuff in the sky that we probably wouldn't really be able to see with our naked eye. And fortunately for us, GoPro has made this extremely easy in their cameras. So first, let me show you what gear I'm using. Like I said, I am using the GoPro Hero 9, and I have the media mod for mine. And this allows me to keep all the ports sealed up while I'm adding external power. And for that external power, I'm just using a cheap battery bank that I got off of Amazon that has USB outputs. And then lastly, to stabilize everything, I'm just using this like gorilla pod type thing. This is really all these kinds of things are good for because the camera is so small, but this allows me to have like a little tripod for the camera that I can put pretty much anywhere. So now with the gear stuff out of the way, let's talk about actually getting this shot. So the first thing we need to do is frame up what our shot is going to be. Obviously, before we press record, we wanna make sure that the sky is visible in the shot. This may seem a little bit silly, but this is going to be the only moving part to our scene, unless there's like some trees or anything like that. But the sky is really where all of the movement in your night lapse is going to happen. So we wanna make sure that that is clearly seen through whatever trees or whatever our scene is. For me, when I'm out traveling, it's really easy for me to pick what I'm going to make my subject. I usually just make that my campsite for the night as that's a nice, easy focal point, but you can really pick whatever you want. So now that we have our shot framed up, let's talk about the settings that we're gonna use. Personally, I leave my shutter set to auto. This allows the camera to adjust the exposure frame by frame. And that's really nice when you're doing things like starting your time-lapse before sunset and then cutting it off after sunrise. This allows the camera to adjust the exposure smoothly frame by frame. Now for my interval, I keep that at two minutes. And I do that because generally speaking, I like my overall time-lapse length to be about 30 seconds. Since most of this stuff is just going up on Instagram anyway, I need to keep those clips kind of short because y'all's attention span is like two seconds. And now for my resolution, I am using the 4K 4x3 mode. And the reason I'm doing that is because it just lets me use the entire sensor of the camera. It also lets me reframe the shot a little bit in post. So if I've got a little bit too much ground or a little bit too much sky or whatever in my shot, I can reframe that with the 4x3 mode. I can just crop in and then move the image up or down. Outside of those settings, the standard night lap settings that are built into the GoPro camera are really gonna do just fine. Now, personally, I did bump my bit rate up just to get a little bit more detail and I also set the timer to three seconds just so I can have nice crisp clear images on every single frame. And lastly I leave that color profile set to flat as that gives me the most flexibility in post when I leave it as a video. If I really wanted to maximize my flexibility in post I could shoot these images as raw photos and then adjust them in post on the computer that way but since most of my stuff is just going on Instagram I don't need to do all that. So that's really all there is to it. GoPro has done a fantastic job with these most recent cameras. They're rugged, they're small, they're flexible in the right hands, and they also can let me do one of my favorite shots super, super easily. If you'd like to see any more content about the GoPro in general, go ahead and let us know down in the comments. And while you're on their way down there, make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons. It really does make a big difference to us here on the channel. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking around to the end. I will see you in the next video next week. Till then, stay safe, stay healthy, and remember Gear Focus is always here to help you feed your passion. So that, dude, shut up. Don't you know I'm trying to shoot a YouTube video here?